Welcome, everyone. Um, I have with me today Joseph Lebrecht, the author of Flash Development for Android Cookbook. Uh, he's an author, author of a lot of other books and a well-known figure in the industry. Um, so let's start off. And uh, um, hey, Joseph. Hey. Well, thanks for for joining us today. And um, our goal in this in this recording is really, and also all of our viewers, the goal is not for you guys to sit back and watch an hour of us chatting. Is really the goal is to introduce your book to everyone, and at the same time to whoever owns the book or whoever is planning on owning the book to give them an idea of how to take what they're learning and transition it into their own experience. So what we're going to do is we're going to go chapter by chapter. We'll get a quick overview of what that chapter is all about. And then we'll try to brainstorm together and find out um, a good task that you could do. Um, now, if you're one of our members on our site, um, you'll get live support with us, which means that as you build your project, you're more than welcome to send it our way and we'll give you feedback on it. If you're not a member on our site, uh, you could still enjoy the exercises, but um, only our um, members will get live support through us. Um, if you don't own the book yet, then please go on our site, um, uh, zerotogeek.com, and buy the book. We'll get a commission out of it, but you could always buy it also directly from any other retailer. Um, all right, so let's get started. So I'm going to open up the book and have it in front of me. So could you give us a bit of an overview of, well, Beyond, um, what was your main agenda of the book? What is the theme that, that your, the book is about? Yeah, sure. So the book, um, you know, I started working on this when the um, Air for Android pre-release was in its very, very early stages. And the idea for this book was to actually, you know, set people up so that they can kind of just, you know, look for the different pieces and fragments mm -hmm. that they would need to get running with whatever their, you know, their, their end goal was. What kind of project are they working on? What does it need to do? How do they need to sort of leverage these different tools and frameworks and runtimes in order to accomplish that? Mm -hmm. So the book is set up into manageable, tiny little chunks. It's a cookbook. So there are various recipes in order to perform certain targeted actions on right. Android. So do, a background the user, the developers need to have, what, what sort of background should you have? Do you need to be a developer to buy this book or um, is it friendly to new newbies? Um, you, you, should, you should probably have a little bit of development background, at least to know you know, some things about the Flash platform and, mm -hmm. and just how to create sort of classes and packages and things mm -hmm. like that in mm -hmm. general cool. uh, using Flash or some other platform. Cool. Um, you know, it, the book does assume a little bit of, of prerequisite material right. as far as that goes. But, um, so I'll just you do know, most of the examples are fairly self-explanatory. Right. I tried to keep them as simple as possible. Mm -hmm. So... You know, there's really no mystery to them. A lot of things involve, um, you know, for in the examples, we kind of trace out a lot of different stuff to the screen or to uh, text fields on the screen, and we set things up from within action script. So we're not dependent upon other libraries or other um, visual constructs from an FLA or anything like that. You should be able to use this the examples in here across tools. So if you're using Flash Professional, if you're using Flash Builder, if you're using FDT or Flash Develop, you should be able to just kind of take these and implement them in your project and, and see some result fairly quickly. Very cool. All right, and I'll just add into that that if you're completely new to development, then you could find a lot of resources on our website, zero to geek um, so check that out. If you already have some, basically you're saying variables, classes, have a familiarity with Flash. It shouldn't be your fir first, first Flash book, but it could definitely be your second or third book after you already are familiar with the environment and you've built something in Flash before. Yeah, and I'd add to that that there, mm -hmm. there are plenty of resources online for getting started with action script development, Flash development, uh, working with Apache Flex and so forth. There's... There's right. so much stuff out there for the platform oh, absolutely. because it is so mature. Uh, absolutely. 
All right, so yeah. let's start off with uh, chapter one, where I can see that chapter one is called Getting Ready to Work with Android Development, where you give us an overview of how to get your application running, if it's in Flash Professional CS 5.5, if it's um, targeting uh, to air in CS 5.5 uh, using Flash Builder, um, Flash Power Flasher. So you're basically going through the most popular um, editors, showing how to actually get something from your computer into those um, uh, devices, right? In those yeah, this is, this is basically a chapter that goes about, you know, setting up your environment for for the rest of the chapters. So it's, a, it's one of the shorter chapters, and right. it does go through Flash Builder, it goes through Flash Pro, and and so forth in order to, to get you up and running with uh, Air for Android. Totally makes so, sense. And then you know, future chapters. The actual oh, sorry. platform you're working with and the tooling, um, you should be able to set things up fairly quickly and just get going and prepare your, your work environment for uh, Air for Android development. That makes sense. So basically the goal in chapter one is... Um, it, what I, I really like this because I'm, I'm guessing that in later chapters you're not forcing or letting, telling users that they need to work in specific tools. You're just giving them an overview of all the tools that they could use and then they could pick and choose which tools they want to use throughout the other chapters. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, we're going through certain, certain tooling and talking about that tooling and how you can integrate uh, Air for Android in there and, and get it into your workflow so that... You know, and what, one of the goals of the book was to, to keep things as sort of uh, tooling agnostic as possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, if you're an FT, FTT user, you know, you should be able to use um, some of the material in Chapter 1 to get going with that. Uh, we even have stuff on Linux in there and, and so forth. So, so, yeah, that makes sense. Know, we so try not to leave anyone in the dust as far as setting up their environment. Very cool. And at the end of the day, really, you don't, I, I'm not expecting people to actually read that whole chapter. Your goal is just to know how to, with the tool of your choice, to know how to actually run your application uh, and get it onto an Android or a, a mobile device. Sure. And, you know, I mean, the entire, the entire book really is like that. You can mm -hmm. kind of pick and choose mm -hmm. between different pieces and, and nothing's really dependent on, on anything else. Very cool. All right, so I guess there's no real exercise for chapter one, but I guess just make sure before you move on to other chapters is that you are capable of actually getting to run on a device because yeah. all the other chapters will, will assume that you already know how to do that. Yeah, the, the main thing with chapter one, you know, I mean, there's, there's some information out there on updates to Air. So, you know, the book was written and we were using Air... I can't even remember what version of Air we were using. Yeah, it's, same, it's it feels definitely like it updates a different version now. It was version 2, mm -hmm. um, and we're targeting Android mm -hmm. 2.2, 2.3, and so forth in here. Um, so there have definitely been new releases of Adobe Air for Android. So there are additional capabilities and so forth that you might want to educate yourself on. 